want you to take a minute with me here and ponder. What are you thinking right now? Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Few Minutes with Marvin. I inspire those who aspire to make positive changes in their lives. And what are you thinking right now? <laughs> Simple question, right? But if you actually stop and, and ponder it, you'll be saying to yourself, wow, what am I thinking right now? Why am I thinking that right now? Who's thinking that right now? Is that really me? Or is it voice from the past, voice from the future? Is it my parents? Is it my friends? Is it my circumstance? Is it my dog? <laughs> Who is thinking right now? Pretty deep question here. And it's something that, that we need to be more aware of, right? Because, as I always say, our thoughts create. So, why would you waste time thinking about something that passed that you can't change, that you can't do anything about? It's a good question, right? But if you think about it, we do that all the time. We're constantly reflect, reflecting on, on the past. People who are constantly in, you know, have that black cloud over their heads are always stuck in the past thinking, I could have, I should have, why didn't I? Maybe if I did this differently, maybe if I had married that person, maybe if I, you know, didn't cheat on this person, maybe if I did this, right? All those maybes, woulda, coulda, shouldas. Those are all these thoughts, millions of thoughts that go through our mind, constantly barraging our mind, just inundating us, and keeping us low and, and low vibrations and low frequencies. And then you wonder why things don't get accomplished or why things don't look better or feel better or taste better to you, right? Because all of these thoughts are your subconscious, right? mixing in with your consciousness, but not in balance, not in harmony, not in unity, in disunity, in chaos, in, you know, just unbelievable depression, right? It's just, you can't, you can't imagine what a life would be like if you didn't think negatively, could you? Why don't you try it? It's not difficult, it's not easy, but it's not difficult to stop yourself from thinking certain thoughts, right? We get so inundated with all these things that we should do or can't do or can do or want to do or can't do and do do and don't do, right? That it really just keeps us stuck. Your thoughts are keeping you stuck. Change the way you see things and the things will, that you see will change. Change what you think about and what you think about will change. And actually, your life will change. If you stop focusing on things that don't matter, judgments of other people, judgments of yourself, idolizing people, What's the latest fad? Who's the biggest movie star right now? I have to go see their movies. What's on television? What's on Netflix? What's that goofy kid doing on TikTok? Right, because I need to, I need to get out of my my world where I am because I'm miserable, right? So I have to find something outside of me to give me the joy. When all you have to do is think happy thoughts. If you want to re reminisce about the past, reminisce on the good things, not on the things that make you unhappy or sad. Because those emotions are your subconscious. They're not your consciousness. Your emotions <clears throat> are what keep you stuck. Because your emotions can be controlled by other forces. All around you, there's 
people, things, um, circumstances, events that are controlling your emotions. So what you pay attention to is what's coming into you and what's controlling you. If you're paying attention to the news about all the bad news out there, if you're if you're looking at videos of sad people, you know, doing sad things, that controls your emotions. That keeps you sad. It just keeps you sad, whether you're conscious of it or not. Right? Those videos that you're watching of people belittling other people, bullying, that sinks into your subconscious. And your subconscious goes, hey, you like bullying. Let's let's find more bullying. Let's watch more things bully people. You have to realize that your subconscious <clears throat> doesn't think, but it creates what you think. So if you think, I have no money, I'm always um, depressed, I'm never going to find the love of my life, I will never be happy, I will never own that house, I will never be able to take a vacation, you're just feeding your subconscious and that's what's coming up. It's coming up in your dreams at night, it's keeping you awake, it's what gives you the headaches and the migraines. It's what you're projecting out, the negativity, and you're attracting back into you. Now this may sound way out there for you, but it's, it's more truth than anything you'll ever know in your life. You've heard the phrase, truth is stranger than fiction, right? It's because fiction is what, whatever you want it to be. It's your imagination. It's, you know, it's, it's fantasy. That's fiction, it's not reality, right? But you're focused on it, so it becomes your reality, but it's not true. But if you focus on, I wanna, I wanna find a better career, I wanna be able to have that house, what do I have to do, right? Put those thoughts into your mind. Not, I don't have it, what do I have to do to get it? What do I have to do to find the person that's gonna love me the way I wanna be loved? and who will accept my love the way I want to give it. Not, what do I have to change in my life to make this person fall in love with me? That's a negative thought because you're putting yourself second and you're putting yourself down. Your worth is nothing if you want to change yourself to please somebody else. That is truth. And it's fiction too, because if you're, you're, you're changing yourself and putting on the makeup and doing your hair just so that you can attract somebody to the outside you, that's not truth, because it's what's inside that counts. It doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. And if somebody else is judging you for that or won't love you because of that, you don't need that person. You're worth waiting for the person who's going to see your inner beauty, your true self, your God self. We all have the God self in us and the Christ consciousness within us. And if you project that out, your true authentic self through your thoughts, how you think about yourself, how you think of others, how you think of the world, how you think of your situations, that's what you're going to attract back. Your subconscious goes, oh, well, you like money. You know, you're grateful for having that $10 in your pocket. Here, here's some more $10. I'll find ways to keep you focused on that, making more $10. Those $10 will add up. All of a sudden you can have your house and you can have your car and you can have that stereo or that uh, the new gadget that's out there. It's what you focus on. It's what you think about. So. I encourage you to start changing your thoughts and start paying attention to what you are paying attention to, right? Because it's all us. It's all in here. All these programs are there, right? But they're excuses. If you keep saying, well, I'm this way because of this, and I'm this way because my parents were like that, that's not you. That's your parents. And again, you're giving somebody else your control. 
and you're letting them control your emotions and and really decide who you are so start deciding who you are by figuring out who you are and who you are not so as you go through your day today ponder stop yourself when you're thinking wait a minute what am I thinking and then think is that really me or am I giving something my power because again you gotta remember that whatever you're thinking in that moment you're gonna create it so if you're thinking of lack you're thinking of woe is me you're thinking that I'm sad that I have no luck that's what's gonna come right back to you every single time every single day nothing will change until you decide to change how do you do that you become aware of what you're thinking every now moment every day every minute Yes, it's exhausting, right? But just like everything else, if you make it a habit and repeat it, repeat it, and repeat it, then it just becomes. And then all of a sudden, you're only thinking good thoughts and thoughts that you want to create. And it takes time. It takes patience with yourself. Give yourself compassion. Don't beat yourself up. If you find yourself thinking negative thoughts and you didn't catch it, just say, okay, I allowed that. But that is not me. That's not my thought. I forgive myself for that. Let's move on to good, happy thoughts. It may seem impossible, but if you think it's impossible, then it is. If you think that you can't change, then you can't. And you never will. Because that thought goes into your subconscious and that's all you focus on. So think that you can. Think that I do. Think that I am. Think that I have. And so it is. Very simple, yet very powerful. So, just a reminder, I am a spiritual transformation coach. If you're having a problem wrangling in your thoughts, right, then there's other deep-rooted things in there that, that need to come up to the surface. Everything needs to come up to the surface so you can see it clearly and decide, I don't want that anymore. What do I have to do to change? If you're you're at that point and you're ready to make the investment in yourself and seek the help from somebody who has the experience and the knowledge and the resources to help you bring these things up to light so that you can see them clearly then help you create the path to healing it and keeping keeping you accountable to it I'm the right guy for you <laughs> so here's a link to my website give me a shout for a free 30 minute decompression session let's just talk for a good fit for each other great if not great at least I'll give you a little bit of insight into what's what's happening that you may want to focus on some more and put your thoughts to that to fixing that you can you're worthy of it if you like the contents of this video please give it a thumbs up share it um, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel I'm truly grateful my thought is that it's already done I am successful I am love, I am light, I have everything I need. There's nothing outside of me that I need, but I allow it all to come in, but what I want to come in, not what other people want me to have that's not mine, or that's, that, that's their uh, truths. I know my truth, I own my truth, and I own my thoughts and my emotions. Do I every now and again let them slide? Yes. Just catch myself give myself, show myself compassion, and on I go, in pure awareness. So be aware of your thoughts, they're creating your life, they're creating your environment, they're creating your mood, they're creating your relationships, they're creating the people that you encounter. Do that, and start creating a life that lights you up, instead of the life that brings you down. And have an amazing day.